Uh, hello everyone, uh, the good captain here, and welcome to the start of the Russian campaign for Allied General. You can pause this and read it for yourself, but <clears throat> the Russian campaign begins in Finland. And this is probably the most difficult mission in all of Allied and Panzer General. Uh, it might be tied for most difficult mission uh, because the, the mission ex immediately following this is also extraordinarily difficult. But I think this one's a little bit worse. Uh, and the reasons for that are going to be more obvious as we sort of grind through this scenario, but let's just start from the, the basics here. Here's the campaign tree for the Russian campaign. So no matter, notice that no matter what happens in Finland, we will go straight to Piskov, whether we get a, a, a loss, a minor victory, or a major victory does not matter one iota in terms of the campaign tree. Now, I, I like to get you know, major victories and just finish the war in the, uh, you know, fewest amount of battles for bragging rights, if nothing else. But this is, I think, the only spot where win, loss, or draw, we go to the, the same, the same thing, uh, the same result is guaranteed on to Piskov. So what's the, so what's the difference here? Well, um, even though the campaign tree is not affected, by win, loss, or draw, how much prestige you get leading into the next scenario is. So if we get the major in Finland, you get 750 prestige, and then the loss and the draw are just uh, separated out by thirds. So 750 to 500 for the minor, 500 to 250 for the loss. And the way to get the the, the uh, minor victory is to you can take all 12 turns for both minor and major. There's no turn requirement. Getting it done sooner is not an issue here. Uh, just getting it done and the minor victory is to have all the cities from the middle of the map south the major victory is to have all of those cities plus sort of all of this the city way up top here and i'm going to posit that this outcome the the major victory is borderline impossible and i say borderline because uh, i remember one day long ago when i had some time on the on a on a weekend i just <laughs> I think I played it half a dozen times, this mission, half a dozen times or so, just to just to see if it could be done. And I do remember getting it once. It was, uh, anyway, I'm kind of a nerd, but I, I just really wanted to see if it could be done. And I did get it, but it it hinged among on, on a lot of different factors. And I'm not going to talk your ears off. I'll, I'll get to pushing pieces, but I will say that uh, a huge part of this is based off of total luck and that is your, the weather. So just like Operation, uh, what was it, Operation Jupiter, the invasion of Norway in the previous campaign, in Britain's campaign, you know, so much of this is going to be dependent on what kind of weather rolls we get. Uh, in, in my playing experience, despite this being known as the Winter War, this is uh, fraught with mud and mud really is sort of a uh, you have to stop playing type of event for Panzer General and Allied General. It's 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 so restrictive. It's again, my experience is best to just move a little bit, but really sort of like rest, replenish, and try not to do much fighting because it's all all the results are so diminished. It's just not worth the expenditure and ammunition and fuel. So. Okay, let's uh, talk about this scenario. So uh, we have a very narrow choke point with a ton of units stacked up behind each other here, and all our core units are in the rear. We have not one iota of experience. There's not one experience point anywhere in this Soviet army, and that is a drawback. Uh, also, so many of our troops are just conscripts, in fact, Basically everything is conscript except if you, it's obvious, like this is a paratrooper, we have a couple of engineers, some cavalry, and I think, yeah, two regulars, right, one and two. Um, and we have these, uh, this first line of resistance by the finish, uh, all one stars with at least three entrenchment, and you have four star in the city. And 
this is going to be a very slow, very deliberate scenario because it has to be if you even want a shot at getting the minor victory. And that is what I'm going to be shooting for. I'm just going to out of the gate, not plan to take Sword of Allah. It's really just not realistic. If you have some way of doing it and you want to share how you do it uh, uh, consistently, you know, I'm not looking for the one off. And if you say paratroopers, I'm not going to believe you. Uh, you think I haven't tried that? So, yeah, it's uh, it's not easy. Uh, it's borderline impossible. So we're going to go ahead and stick with a far more realistic objective of trying to get the minor, which is very difficult to do, but at least it's we're talking about something that can be done consistently. Um, of course, weather permitting. So our weather is overcast dry and forecasted overcast dry. So hopefully we have many many dry ground turns. I don't care really about any kind of weather result other than mud. Uh, if it's raining or snowing I'm, I'm, not, I'm fine. I just If the ground turns to winter that's fine too. I just the mud is the worst thing. So if we don't lose too many turns to mud we should be okay. If we lose uh, one to three I think I could manage that. If we lose more than three turns to mud and I think I've had it as high as five or six which is you know purely half of the allotted time uh, thrown out for mud, then we're going to be in trouble. Okay, we're going to push pieces. So one thing we got plenty of is ranged indirect fire. So we have two naval units, a light cruiser and a heavy cruiser, and we're going to push out and uh, both of them will share a shell Terra Jokey on the way out. So here we go. Okay, yeah, that's nine out of ten times they're not going to do any damage, but we take entrenchment the entrenchment down from four to two. And then we will, the next uh, order of operations I have is to use this artillery, the southwesternmost artillery, and shell Terajoki again. And then move up and adjacent. Uh, this is a very strategic position. If the weather, if the ground conditions stay dry, we'll be able to set up in the Woodsex 1119, which is very important to shell downtown Suma on turn three, which is what we definitely want to do with as many barrels as we can, because the only advantage we really have as the Soviets is an abundance of artillery. So getting artillery into the right spots as quickly as possible to do the work we need to do is paramount. Okay, now we're going to shift off of uh, the attack on Terajoki for just a moment and focus on this unit in the center in the woods here. And how we're going to do this is first move this conscript unit forward and adjacent to this finish unit that's already kind of pinned into the coast. So I'm not too worried about this fellow, at least not yet. It says 6-1, so of course we won't attack. And now we've freed up a space for our artillery to advance. Again, this is very, very pre-planned. Uh, this is a practiced scenario. I, I, uh, to do this effectively, you probably need to play it once or twice to understand how narrow the um, chances for win are. So I've done this enough to know where I want to move my pieces of the first turn. So yeah, we will go ahead now and shell this fellow. Okay, and then we'll move here. And now you will shell this guy as well. Very, very nice hit. And then you'll move here. And this way we can support these infantries and the, even these uh, packed up artillery with uh, fire support. So if the Finnish do attack, we've now basically negated the, their experience by having supported, uh, infantry supported with artillery. Okay, uh, given the poor condition of this Finnish unit in the center now, I'm going to use my... Actually, no, sorry. I'm going to use this T-28, which is a decent anti-infantry tank. Just take a chance. Yeah, it's a rugged defense at 1 in 10. Otherwise, we should wipe out this unit. Yeah, a little bit of a risk, but moderate. Yeah. Very, very nice. And 1, 2, 3. Yeah, and then I like to yeah put you here. This T-28 has three movement points tracked, so he could move into the woods and then help kill off this uh, finish infantry next turn. Okay, now we will shell. Now we will shell this uh, fellow in uh, Terajoki, and he has one entrenchment left, and this will remove that last entrenchment. 
beautiful hit, beautiful hit, very well done. Uh, let's go ahead and push you up, up to here, yeah. Okay, and now this was basically going to be a walk-in for this conscript. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, no chance for rugged defense, and we kill two and we lose one. Hmm. Maybe we can use something else. Let's see. Soviet cavalry. Kill two, lose one. No. Okay. All right, um, yeah, I've got plans for all these units in the city. Uh, one thing is that's going on here, one thing that, excuse me, one thing that's going on here is a traffic jam. So yeah, we'll, we'll authorize this attack. No, 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 no. Let's use the T-28s. Yeah. Yes, and there's a reason for this. I'm trying to preserve my infantry. Excellent. Okay, now we can move at full speed. Actually, just a moment. Let's see. Yeah. Perfect. Um, almost perfect. Yeah, perfect. So what we're going to do here is move... Yeah, move this engineer's unit right here. And then this BT-5, which is a very nearly useless unit. This thing is, for this scenario, is no good. If we were facing off against early war Axis armor, this hard attack would be nice, but we are not going to face any kind of arm, hard target unit in this scenario, so the soft attack is all we're really looking at, and it's got a terrible soft attack. So this is a meat shield, so let's put him right here. And this way he'll protect our bridge engineers, and we are two spaces away from this fortified space and having played this many times I know there is a strong point here in fact there's strong points uh, dotted all along this what is historically known as the Mannerheim line and uh, we are going to have to reduce some of them to bring our quantity and numbers advantage to bear so uh, again we're doing everything we can to clear up the traffic jam. And part of that back here is going to be, uh, well, you'll see how I kind of respond to this. Since there's so many bodies everywhere, doing things like packing some units up into transports and taking advantage of the naval transportation option are things you want to do. You know, taking upgrades with, even though they're not core units, just paying 20, IP, uh, 20 prestige to upgrade this uh, bridge engineer, which is a very vital unit. Uh, to make them more mobile is, is something we can do right now. Uh, same with the Soviet regulars here. This is a, you know, we'll need this upgraded. Yep. And we're going to put these paratroopers in the air and we'll, we'll probably never deploy them. I say we'll probably never deploy them because these are a wonderful unit for this scenario. <laughs> um, when uh, we, we will buy one fighter here and use him um, constantly too for the same to the same end but the fighter is disadvantaged in that it has a limited amount of fuel whereas this this airborne unit does not so let's go see what we got and yes this is what I was looking for the strong point here and this big big 105 millimeter finish artillery unit right behind it this 105 millimeter is going to be public enemy number one want to kill that thing as quickly as possible. I mean, just wipe it out. I don't care if the Finns buy another unit, that one needs to go. So, uh, what else can we, what else do we have going on back here? Okay, uh, yeah, um, one thing I know I'm going to do is disband this core unit. This is a BA-10. We just don't have any need for this type of unit at all. And that will bring a core unit purchases available to two. We'll uh, start the Soviet Air Force off with some I-16s. And we'll, tr we'll be lucky if we get half a star. Very lucky if we get a half a star. But the main thing is we need them to accomplish this scenario. And of course, we want some experience. So uh, yeah, we'll build up as much experience as the weather allows. 
but uh, you'll see what I'm about to do. It's very important to maintain intelligence and reconnaissance. We need two air units. So now that the Soviet Air Force is built up, um, we will touch it, uh, finish it off, off our core units army by building a KV-139, and we will drop you here. Yeah. Okay, now we will finish out the rest of the moves. And the most important pieces are these artillery pieces, so we'll move them first. Um, move you here. And yeah, we can move you here. And then the, yeah, uh, we can move you push you up here. And the cab will go here. Bring up the engineers, also very important. They're really the best unit to remove fortifications. It's going to be tough, or strong points, I should say. It's going to be tough, but again, we really don't have much by way of options for anything else. BT-7s, very fast. Uh, BT-7 as opposed to the BT-5 is actually worth a damn. Uh, check this out. It's soft attack is 8 it's, as opposed to 1, and it's hard attack is uh, you know, irrelevant for this scenario. But great little tank. So let's bring you... Let's bring you... Yeah, let's... Well, the, B, the BT-5 is so worthless. Let's move you first. Let's put you in the center of the woods. And yeah, from he here, we can still pretty much go everywhere. Just move you there. Uh, this fellow, this cavalry, we're going to upgrade. This is a core unit, so we're going to upgrade him to bridge engineers on turn two. Again, in the spirit of trying to keep you know as many units, find a reason to pull as many units out of the main advance because again we have such a narrow front too many units so finding good things to do with the units that can't get up there is, uh, is the right way to think about this scenario I think so yeah um, we'll just push up push up uh, you'll move hmm. well much for you guys to do Here. I think that's it. Let's see. Yeah, we're not worried about him. And yeah, we'll go ahead and take Tirajoki. Okay, so that's it. This guy's not going to do anything. Sometimes the AI attacks us here, and then we will have no issue with this. Uh, unfortunately, if they move off, um, it is it'll take some work to remove this uh, Finnish unit here. But I think we're in a good spot, not a bad first turn, uh, but of course everything depends on the weather. So you can play perfect a perfect game, but it, if the weather doesn't line up right, you're screwed. So I'm going to hold my breath, and uh, let's save it, Okay, and give the enemy its turn. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, now they didn't attack over in the east. Okay, it's raining and dry, and let's see what the forecast is. Drum roll. Okay, yes. Overcast and dry. Okay, great forecast. Okay, I've had it. Where, I've even had it where the mud comes on turn two, uh, so I'm happy so far, and I really like the overcast, dry forecast. That's great. Super happy to see that. All right, let's start with the simplest thing first. Let's open with. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of risky. I probably shouldn't have made that move just now. But okay. Yeah, T twenty eights are a good unit. To, I, I don't think we can get away from it. I think we have to sh shell. Yeah, this is not ideal but yeah shell wow only one hit 
Uh, you know, in the east, it doesn't really matter. The, these units, these two artillery, and the you know the handful of units we're sending up here, all they have to do is secure Taipale by turn twelve. This is not the main push. The main push is along this uh, western coast. So, yeah, mm, not great, but we have to continue to be a little bit bold. So let's move up, shell this guy, and push out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's not go nuts. Let's open up the space. Let's go here. Okay, now, yeah, now he, his entrenchment was at two and we shelled him in, into nothingness. Yeah, no chance for a rugged defense and three kills for one loss is probably better than Oh, four kills for three losses. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna lead off with the T28s. Eh, that wasn't that great. <laughs> Let's finish him off. Okay. Uh, let's advance. advance. Okay, so next turn we'll get set up uh, to start shelling downtown Taipale. The BT-5, I don't, I don't even know if it's worth strength 6, it'll cost us 18 to, uh, to put him back to full strength. I don't think it's worth it, at least not yet. I don't know, I'll come back to him later. Okay, I need to take a quick little pause and study the battlefield to see what to do next. Okay, uh, yo, I'm back. Uh, I know that a finish, a major piece that needs to be removed as quickly as possible is here in hex 917. So I'm gonna move the airborne uh, to this space right here. Okay, and then let's see, it's raining. I forgot that it's raining, so I was going to have my fighters strafe. Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. I was going to have my fighters strafe, but now I know they're only good for reconnaissance and for freezing reinforcements. So 90% certain that fighters can end up over the artillery, but let's begin first with shelling these guys. Shell. Yeah, not off. They're not, not the best start, but it's a start. So let's, yeah, let's freeze his ability to replenish. We need two units adjacent to make it so that the AI cannot re replace it all. But two makes it, I think, so he can replace one. I've forgotten, and I don't want to pull my strategy guide to double check. But okay, um, now this move is very important. Yeah, this is the only artillery. This is his only shot. At, yeah, we, we will shell this guy and hope to do three damage. Yes. All right. And now we're going to take a big leap of faith, a big gambit. No, we're not. No, not with that big gun breathing down our neck. Yeah, he'll move here. And we'll move into that woods that I wanted to on the next turn. But at least we had the option. Okay, so now the cavalry. Actually, let's get rid of the meat shield. The BT-5 can just run off. I, I don't think there's any point to attacking. Yeah, so we'll just uh, politely decline to... The battle here let's move here okay now what's the next best unit a t28 yeah it sounds like it could be good three killed one suppressed uh what about the engineers just for you and no, i don't want to put a soft target in a position where the artillery can shell them uh, like that so hmm. 
afraid to move this guy, he might run into something. In fact, I think there's a finish right here, so... Uh, yeah, let's bring up the T-28s and attack. Come on. Eh. Eh. All right, Cav. Hmm. Let's unpack all the units so we're not confused as to their contents. I can always pack them up later. Okay, this, it's raining, so spotting is reduced by one for all ground units, so this guy's spotting of two is still a lousy one. Um, so yeah, let's, let's bring the cav up, and then bring the artillery here. So yeah, we'll run into some fins. Huh. Yeah, this makes more sense if we're um, okay. Yeah, let's push you up here. Yep. So attacker suffers three. Oh no, we yeah we'll suffer three kills. Twenty percent chance of a rugged defense. So yeah, that's a no. But now we can see them, so we can hit them. And yeah, it's a good attack. Okay, now we'll move up to support that armor unit. Um, I th think there's a strong point here, so I'm a little leery about sending in a unit. Yeah, let's send conscripts in. Uh, well, first, let's see. Attacker 2, Defender 3. What would an attack? Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, it's still got an entrenchment, so that's... Yeah, that's why. So it's a bit of a risk, but I think we're going to take it. Let's get send our BT-7s into action. Let's go here, and come on, cross your fingers. Oh my god. That was awful. That's how you gain a quarter of a star, but oh my god, that wasn't worth it. I lost seven. Well, it doesn't matter now. We have to... Uh, human wave them. Yeah, we have to just throw ourselves. Yep, sorry. Oh my god! So what I'm doing right now, such bad dice rolls all around so far for the Soviets. What I'm doing right now is trying to make it that I don't lose a core unit in the next turn, so I have to reduce this guy to some manageable He's about to gain a second star, that Finn. Oh, God. Okay, this is an opportunity. Ah, this is, uh... I don't know where the opportunity is. Yep, it's an opportunity for this beat-up old BT-5 to go bag a kill. We have to do this anyway because uh, he'll he'll replenish to a, an unmanageable number if we don't move this BT series tank adjacent. So, yeah, might as well attack. Yes! Yes! Whew. Okay. That little Finn did his job. We're going to have to take next turn to repair and replenish some of these units. But that's one less unit to worry about. They don't have a ton of these units uh, that they can send out a gallivanting off. Mostly this is an attack against the static position. Thank God for the Soviets. Um, well, that did soak up 
pretty much all my available attacks. Yeah, the only other one that's worth considering is this one. Yeah, which is not worth it. And yeah, that puts a soft target in range. Uh, okay, so I think that uh, most of the fighting is done, so it's mostly movements. So yeah. Uh, one thing I do like to do with this uh, amphibious unit here, the uh, unit Soviet regulars in the water, is, is position them around and behind Vaipuri and Tali for the late game push on those two cities. Uh, so that's what we're doing. There is a bit of a Finnish Navy in here. There's two S-boats, but if we play it right, they usually don't come out. So... So, yeah, we have to move you, yeah, we have to move you here, yep, and really you ought to go here, into the marsh hex where you'll do some good by not being in the way. Um, armor units will send to the north. Yeah, this artillery can go. Ah, oh, wait, yeah. We. It's a bit of a risk. Is out? Yeah, we're gonna move this guy here. This uh, my my core unit engineers. It's gonna go there. Let's take advantage of the fact that we have an artillery unpacked, and now if the Finns decide to come out here, um, they'll get probably get blasted. I just noticed this Finnish unit cannot replenish next turn. He will stay a five because of that airborne transport. That's three units adjacent, so thank goodness for small mercies. Okay, this is a pretty simple push. Actually, let's prioritize the Soviet regulars. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, push. Artillery, let's move you here. Move you here. 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 Uh, yeah, and now you guys can move up. You guys can get upgraded to bridge engineers with trucks. And. I should have moved to this KV up down that road, but uh, that's okay. Yeah, let's put let's put you here. And this artillery, yeah, now it's more obvious. You'll go here. Whoops, that's not the right button. Oh, that is everything. Okay, so that's it. Let's uh, pray to the Allied General, the God of the uh, Allied General Weather, and uh, pray that there is no mud next turn. Okay, here we let's just save it. This scenario makes me so nervous. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Whoa! Overcast dry? Excellent. Oh, now it's forecast raining muddy. Yeah, we, we weren't going to dodge it forever. Okay. Huh. So it's important we get into the positions we want to be in right right now. Um, and I can see what I, exactly what I want to do here. So you'll go here. You'll go here. You'll go this and you will go here. You'll go six, four. Yeah, we can shoot. Let's do some damage. 
Okay. Hmm. Bring up the KVs, and that flank will slowly fall. I'm not worried about Taipali. I don't care if we take it on the 12th turn. It'll get taken eventually. It's the, the main area of concern is down here. Getting past Suma as quickly as possible and getting on to the, the grind at Vaipuri and Tali. So here we go. Oh! Oh, that was awesome. Um, so I think we will stand. Okay, we yeah, the next thing is to work down this strong point right here. So that's what we're going to do. Shh. Oh, wait, we got to make sure we get past this guy. Um, Let me... Let's see. Uh, no, he's not a very good. Uh, these naval ships are good at reducing entrenchments. They're not so good at actually causing casualties. In my experience, that's what I know to be true. All right. So here we all are. Now, this artillery has nothing to do except shell this guy and kill all three and it is a core unit so I really want to do that now, if we shell him and kill him we should be able to move into that spot so let's take a risk very very nice yes there was an artillery back here I think it was in hex 1015 so I think we're good okay now we can focus on this strong point. So now we will shell. And what is he down to? Entrenchment four. Regulars, nope. So you move here and attack. What is, uh, hmm. I'm not gonna get too many attacks out. That's not, I don't like that. There's a naval gun here just south of the city. We've played too many times, so I know that. Um, uh, oh yeah, man, these things, the T-28s are just not very quick, so I hate to do this to you, but I think the cab is going to have to move right here. Yeah, I hate to hate to do this, but um, yeah, shell. Eh, got a hit. I'm not moving here because we'll be seen and then bombed by the uh, naval guns. But we got his entrenchment down to three, so I think it's time to begin. Yeah, attacking, grinding it down. That actually, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Yeah, one one. Yes, yes, that was huge. That was a great leap forward. Yeah, well, and now we can move in for. Uh, what am I doing? Come on, shell this before the mud comes. Do some damage. push up. I don't, I really want to, to clear the traffic jam, but I don't know. I, I kind of have a, an affinity for these T-28s. I, one for one, really? Well, one other consideration is what to do about this fighter. You know, um, we do have some damage on this guy. Um, Says so zero 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 zero. We could also go hunt that Finnish arty back there, but I, I want direct support. So you know what? We'll come back. Um, let's 
Let's see if we can use some more artillery guns. Am I, am I blind? Oh, that's what's packed up. This, this, these guns. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is my last artillery here. Yeah, we'll sh if we shell this guy, is it worth it? No, there's an artillery back there. Trenchment four. Shell, we move the engineers in, those guys come back. We'll probably hit it with two units. Three units total, brings his entrenchment down to one. What else are we gonna do? Whoa! Whoa, great hit. Okay, uh, you come back. Move up. It says zero three. That's really good, but let's see what the KVs can do. Zero two. Uh, with three entrenchment, right? Uh, I think. Yeah, 22% chance of a rugged defense versus no chance. So, yeah, we will lead off with the engineers. And now, yeah, I reduced it from 22% to 15%, which is not a number I like. Still, we need to get going. Eh. Okay, this, now this is more interesting. This AT gun is so weak. And down to entrenchment one, this might be the one we strafe. With three units adjacent, he cannot replenish. Yeah. And I'm more worried about this guy going back to full, any kind of uh, re upping his strength by any kind. Let's strafe. Okay, so ineffective, but again, we he will not replenish. Zero experience. Oh, okay. I thought I, got, I would have got at least one on that, but... <laughs> Sad, so sad. Okay. Yes, let's move you here. O and one, and we take the entrenchment. Uh, yeah, I want that. Yum. Okay, great. And now we have three units: one in the air, two on the ground. This guy will not replenish. Uh, you are, so now we are officially traffic jammed. Um, either, yeah, it's a mess. So many units and there's just nothing to do. Um, uh, let's see, um, you can... Move up a space. Yes, let's bring up the engineers, of course. Yes, let's bring up the engineers. Uh, just push more bodies forward. Uh, yeah, let's go here. More, before the mud settles in. Okay, and then let's cycle through. You are worth replenishing with Prestige seven, yeah, that's worth doing. And now elite replacements for you so that we can protect our, uh... this will be 91. So this is actually kind of an investment. Let's see, yeah, we have 27 experience. I wanna preserve that, so I'll pay for it. All right. Um... And there's nothing else to do really. Uh, this is uh, prestige minus 18. Is that worth doing? I don't. I don't know. It's harder to replenish things when there's mud. It's more expensive, I should say. But I just don't have. I mean, I do like their range, though. You know what? This guy already bailed me out of a sticky situation once. So I'll, I'll pay the 18. Get him replenished. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'll just do the same for this guy. Why not? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. The end around. Let's see. One, two, three, four. 
you will go here. Actually, can you... is he off the map? No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Yeah, he should be fine. Oh, the T-28, this guy can't move or do nothing. Uh, yeah, so you'll just fuel and ammo. Oh, the airborne. Well, you're doing God's work there, son, so let's just put you here. Yeah, we, we want to stay adjacent to that AT gun, but we want, let's get some reconnaissance in, so we could move you here. Hmm, it's empty. I unfortunately don't have a unit adjacent, so they will be able to add new units. Save the game. Give the enemy a turn. Yes, I... Huh. Yeah. Oh, jeez. God. Oh, wow, they really hurt us. Yeah, it's muddy. Wow, and it's overcast dry next turn. This might be the only muddy turn we have. That's good. Actually, I'm I'm going to I think I'm almost glad that the mud's here. This will give me an excuse to rebuild the units. This is going to be expensive. Yep, 120 to make that replacement. And I can't even get him out of the line cuz we're in such a traffic jam. So, the first thing this is there's no it's so, I guess we can maneuver a little bit, so I guess we will, but this is basically all so bad. Um, 22 experience here. What's the time? I'm already kind of getting worn out. Yeah, we'll do this mud turn and then we'll call it. No need to screw up an, a, a, a scenario that's going well enough by... Burning myself, burning yourself out. Give your brain a break. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, we we can entrenchment zero, entrenchment three. Boy, I want to attack, but it's just look at we can't do any damage, you know. So what's the point? So yeah, just shell. Oh, we got one. Shell. Honestly, this is the this is the kind of a time to top off. Um, but uh, what do we have? Fuck. Both these guns are down to four. If we fire again. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is just not good. Uh, and he pulled back. It's actually kind of a difficult setup. Uh, yeah, one thing we I know we got to do is is drill out this uh, unit here. We just gotta kill it. <laughs> oh, the mud! Right, it, it makes it so. Jeez. That, that unit's gonna totally replenish and look our units are down yeah this is this advance is definitely stalled for a turn um, not sure not sure I want to pay to have you replenish just yet so yeah minus 14 what do we get like two strength points? Yeah, there's just no way to insert a unit safely into that spot. So it will give the Finns another chance to drop new units in there. But I just really don't want to do... Alright, I'm just gonna... Resupply. So it went from 4 to 6. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not sexy, but uh Yeah. Yeah, that's probably worth it. It's probably what needs to be done. Hmm. This unit is backed up by artillery. He's going to replenish. It's so bad. Uh, I think I'm going to... Yeah, this is... We're not going to attack. We're just going to remain adjacent. Excuse me, and we'll just be a bullet magnet. Um, yeah. I, I hate to do this, but I'm actually going to just let... Am I going to let that AT gun replenish? Yeah. I, I want to pin down this AT gun at force strength. I think it's more vital for the advance on Tali and Vipuri that we spend energy removing all these units in the center. So, yep. We are going to let Suma wither on the vine. Um, yep. This is only 12 IPC replacement. So we'll take that. I'm going to risk just taking elite replacements here. Yeah, two of them for at 14, so we'll become an eight. This is uh, pretty risky though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk losing a core unit. Yeah, let's not do that then. That's just, just sounds dumb. So pull back. This says they take a loss. They took three, very nice, okay. Uh, this is probably one of, uh, five ammo. Yeah, just take the, we'll just take the, we'll just replenish, take two points and not worry about ammo for the rest of the game. So, um, yeah, we'll probably top this guy off. Minus five. Oh yeah, it's super cheap. Conscripts, just replace them, get more bodies up here. Bridge engineers. Where is their fortifications? Here. Yeah. One space, one space. Move up two spaces. Super bummer, but <clears throat> yeah, just replenish. <clears throat> Taking it. Best advantage of the mud as we can. Ah, yes, you have. This guy just has to take elite replacements. Absolutely, there's just no way around it. No way around it. Hmm. Pretty sure there's a strong point there, so we're not going to advance. We'll just take fuel and ammo. Hmm. Let's move you into a better. No. BT5, yeah, we can get you out of the way. So, yeah, I'll move you up. Uh, we'll take an elite replacement for 18. Wow. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll just stand down. Hmm. And, yeah. Move you here. <laughs> you here. That's it. That's hopefully, man, if we're lucky and that's the only mud turn, then I'll feel pretty good about getting the miner. So let's get the end. Yes. Good. 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 Ah. Oh no, it's another mud turn in the next, okay, so this is basically the average, three mud turns. I thought it was the winter war, you know, to be honest, I think this is a little bit of a weird game design, but it's basically mud that ruins the Finland scenario, not snow. Everything else is pretty good. I like the abundance of artillery and the inexperience of the Russians and the restrictions the logistics problems we face with traffic jam and all that, but 
kind of screwed up the mud. Okay, so this is where we'll pick it up at the next video. Thanks for watching this. All the best from the good captain, and bye-bye.